All right, ready to do this. It's been four months since we actually hooked this bad boy up, but now it's like riding a bike. Hey guys, we are currently coming at you from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. We, we are very behind on our episodes, like a long, long time behind, but we thought we would come to you in real time given everything that's going on and the current situations that are happening. We just thought it was really important to be in real time, at least temporarily. Yeah. So when the lockdown started, we just- uh, We know, were just finishing spending our winter on the Oregon coast. Yeah, yeah. It, we were actually just about to end our trip. You know, let's just let's just be safe. And let's just like start heading back towards Coraline. I mean, we were gonna come here anyway. We were gonna go to like, you know, where, where do we have to, we just had like gold we beach We still left. hadn't finished like the southern half of the Oregon yeah. coast, which is probably, so now probably what we're gonna do, I think next winter now, we'll just go back to the Oregon coast and do the south half that we had. Yeah. You know, we have some family there as well. Yeah, my step aunt is in Depot Bay, so we're 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 very lucky to be able to bounce back, bounce and, forth, back and forth. You know, yeah. go to her house and then away and huge help. All that. And of course, so. we love we love hanging out. But that being said, when this whole thing started, we had basically already been quarantined. Yeah, like yeah. the entire time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, because we're self-contained in here and we don't. We don't use the campground bathrooms and showers. We use our own. So you know, it's been a little, it's been a little rough these, these last couple of, you know, couple of months. Obviously, Idaho is a very, very safe place, but we're still operating at the level of as if like we're in New York or California. Well, yeah. because we want to do our best to keep everybody safe and yeah. be considerate of other people's lives. We care about other people's lives. It's still status quo for us, but we're just being careful for the next person. We're we're thinking about you all the time. So speaking of being pretty much already quarantined, that was very helpful for traveling from Oregon to here. Right. Like we've probably never been more grateful <laughs> to be in an RV because it was just Yeah. You know, yeah. we could be self-contained the whole way. We have our own bathroom, we have our yeah. own kitchen. Uh, we only stopped one time. <laughs> oh only my once. God. Only once. <laughs> only once. And we're trying to get to Coeur d'Alene before it was dark, so we didn't want to stop yeah. and turn on the propane and cook, even though we'd done that the rest of the trip. We yeah. ate from inside the RV, yeah. but <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. We couldn't clear the drive through We were very stupid for trying. We had to take the trailer and the car off. People are waiting and we look like idiots. Oh my God. We saw the drive through and we could see there was nothing. Okay, and that's another thing. We never, ever eat fast food, but we knew that it was easy to get. Taco Bell, it's easy to order vegan. Right. Oh, so, so, well, yeah. So we looked at it, there was nothing to clear. So we could tell that the RV would clear it. And we start to make the turn and there's like a median in the middle. So it forces you to do a super tight left turn. Even yeah. in a car that's like a tight. The second we saw that, I was like, uh oh, we also have a car in the back. We have the car. Yeah, we were towing. All... We were towing the car. So I tried to back up, and right? it immediately just jackknifed the car. And it so... immediately jackknifed, but then there was a car that came right behind, and I was like, "Well, I'm gonna have to like unhook yeah, the car." Then, then a line started to form. There was no way for us to back up. And so... then I kept, and I kept <laughs> the very first guy that was there that was actually like parked. I was like, "Hey, dude, I'm really sorry, but we're gonna." We're gonna just gonna be a second. We just messed up over here. Let me just take the car off the first truck that saw me He just like he just saw me kind of unhooking and rah, just takes <laughs> off <laughs> And, and I missed like that. over it. Thankfully, we've done this so many times and we it was really embarrassing You know, it, oh, we had to yeah, we had to take the car off in front of this entire in front line. of everybody Looks yeah. like morons. So not only that Christy gets the car down. I take the dolly off I take the, and I back the RV out and I go the other, I take like the other lane to go on the other side. Christy orders. I had to walk through the drive You had to through. walk through While the drive While this was all going on, I While had to walk through. While all this is going on. Yeah, that's probably for us. Man. Oh, yeah, Lord. Like, you know, I got to understand that when people really want their fast food, they really want their fast yeah. food. But then just like taking the RV on the other side and then taking that, that very heavy dolly and taking it all the way to the other oh side. Oh my God, we were so punished for uh, it. Yes. We knew better too, but. <laughs> Look like idiots. <laughs>
this. Yeah, so that was our only stop. Yeah. We did, we were able to, oh, what was great, we could even pull over and just make ourselves coffee. Yeah. You know, or lattes or whatever, so yeah. that was nice. Yeah, really. that was easy. On the side of the really road in cool. Washington, just made our own coffee. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that was that was the trip over. Yeah. So we've been here ever since, and it, uh, it's now we're in June. Uh, when we first got here, we started out at my brother's, mm -hmm. and my brother and our sister-in-law and our nephew. Mm -hmm. And so we started out there, and then we moved over here to be with my mom and stepdad. Yep. They're just now opening campgrounds back up. Yeah, um, slowly but surely. Right now, we're starting to entertain you know, places to go and... We feel like we can do that safely because, yeah. you know, we still will stay in here. Right. You know, we can still be in the RV. The right. only thing we have to do is pay right. for our spot. Um, right, there's nothing that's really changing other than the fact that we're just parked with our with our family. We're still doing all our things, still making lots of music. Yeah. So at the same time, while this is happening, there are, I mean, it, this does not dismiss how horrific what has happened is, has been, and the people whose lives have been lost, it, it's, it horrifies us and if you, if you've lost someone and you're watching this, our deepest condolences yeah. go to you. Yeah. So this takes nothing away from from how horrible this is. But we will say there are some silver linings. We're in desperate need of a reset. Like, yeah. I think there are going to be a lot of positive changes that come out of this. I mean, hopefully this is Earth's immune system at yeah. its finest. It's, yeah. you know, it's given us plenty of warnings and we haven't listened to them. I, we're hoping that perhaps we finally learn to stop exploiting animals and trashing the environment, but also the art that's being created all over the place, like the things people are doing that they don't normally have time to do. We're looking at it in a very positive way. We have never been so grateful to have and to have built this. Every time we're in here, we just look at it, we're just like, can't believe we were in here. Yeah, I know, you just like <laughs> re-realize. This is amazing. Uh, the other thing we wanted to bring up is the responses that are happening right now to the horrific murder of George Floyd, which our, our hearts have been heavy this week. It's really sad to see on where it's at. It's been it's been rough this it's last really week. That's it's for really sure. upsetting. Yeah. And it's just so unacceptable, all of these innocent African Americans that have lost their life. Anyway, you know, we're we're behind you. Yeah. And we feel you. So I mean we're we're sending you love and wishing you the best. It, try to make the choice to really make use of this time. You will look back and be like, what did I do with this time? How did I respond right. to this? Create as much as you can, write, learn something. Oh, a lot cool. of Yeah, a lot of people are just creating. I think that's how the way it, it should always be, you know, like as long as you're always creating. You know, because we have our party Unity in LA, which happens every once in a while in LA. So now Unity's happening inside the RV. All of our friends can come to Unity when we're live streaming from the RV, like yeah. the, the Montreal people, the Coeur d'Alene people, yeah. the overseas people, yeah. the, our New Yorkers are, you know, like. Yeah. We're really, really excited about what's ahead. Expect a lot of content that's gonna come out from us. Yeah. And the content coming up is gonna uh, be vacillating between past and present so yeah we have a lot of work to do a lot of work to do we hope everybody's well and yep. safe and use this time well take advantage of it you know we will get through this think about the light that's gonna be on the other side of this be well guys I hope you guys yes. are all doing good uh, we miss a lot of our friends in, in California and other in other parts as well just be just be safe of course yeah, take care of yourselves take care of each other yep and yes, like you just said, yeah, stay, just stay positive and we are sending you lots and lots of love. Yep.